The people of Texas are informed that, in accordance with a proclamation from the Executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involves an absolute equality of personal rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves, and the connection heretofore existing between them becomes that between employer and hired labor. The freedmen are advised to remain quietly at their present homes and work for wages. They are informed that we will not be allowed to collect at military posts and that they will not be supported in idleness, either there or elsewhere. My name is Genoa Barrow and I am the senior staff writer for the Sacramento Observer. I have worked for the Observer for 23 years and over the years I have covered some of everything, uh, but of course I've covered uh, Juneteenth um, in the paper um, for a number of years, uh, local events, um, historians, um, and the like. I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, Oakland to be exact, uh, the home of the Black Panthers, so um, sort of knowing you know, who we are uh, and you know, um, standing up for ourselves, uh, was uh, ingrained in me from a, a young age and in the Bay Area Juneteenth was something that was celebrated um, you know summer summer came Juneteenth was sort of synonymous uh, with summer just like the 4th of July uh, so um, but it's been still been uh, a number of years waiting for it to be uh, recognized uh, as it is now so uh, and this, and I casually ask you you know, do you celebrate Juneteenth? Why or not? You know, when did you first learn about Juneteenth? I've been new about Juneteenth, you know, and I will celebrate uh, uh, any person getting free. You know, mm -hmm. even when I'm not free, uh, I will still celebrate the freedom of other people uh, that come particularly uh, from people of color and black people in particular. Uh, you know, so it's like, you know, the question you ask me, uh, Frederick Douglass asked it a different way, and uh, uh, and he was asking that. So when you asked me that question, it immediately brought up, what is Juneteenth to me? Mm -hmm. uh, being that nobody can actually see uh, my slavery. You, you could pass by it when we out there cleaning up the side of the highway or when we fighting forest fires or shoring up the levees or acting as uh, 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 porters inside of a jail, tear tenders, uh, when we doing all of this labor, uh, that's unpaid uh, for labor, where we can be sold on the stock exchange uh, through uh, private prisons, where in a place like Susanville, uh, when they decided to close three prisons, Susanville decided to sue the state of California because what they didn't want to lose is the resources that was generated as a result of having a prison in their, in their, um, in their area. And, uh, and what that normally means is that, you know, as long as they could hold people in bondage, it was all right. They didn't make an argument that we needed the prison for public safety. They made the argument that the prison should exist. Can you make uh, Juneteenth uh, a widely acceptable holiday with the servitude language still on the books? I think that what it does for me, it gives me the opportunity to actually talk about whether or not that I've been free. Because I think I'm as invisible as slaves were in 1850 if you was in the back of a horse-drawn uh, 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 carriage and uh, you looked over in the field and seen people fighting, uh, picking cotton. You may not have thought there was anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm telling you, you do it all the time, but you just don't see me. Mm -hmm. You know, you would just assume uh, that uh, uh, I'm being, uh, I'm out there for some particular reason. You know, that, I, that you know, somehow... Uh, if you enslave me, it's going to make me a better person. And uh, I don't necessarily buy that as a... Uh, uh, gotcha. Now, you know, will the holiday and broader knowledge and observance of, of Juneteenth help alleviate racial issues in America, address uh, uh, those issues in America? I think that it'll put it back on the forefront because I think right along through here, it's a possibility uh, that if we don't keep on bringing up uh, issues that is, is near and dear to the black community, uh, you might not ever get a resolution around George Floyd. 
You may not never get a resolution around police murders. You may not never get a resolution around uh, things that are pertinent to keep black people actually uh, alive and healthy. Gotcha. Um, and can I ask, what does freedom mean in 2022? Uh, to me or to uh, the community in general, uh, freedom to me would mean that I would have access to things everybody else have access. You know, because while we arguing about whether or not I should be a slave, uh, the people that are uh, probably working down uh, in that state capital, particularly black people, I'm quite sure that when he was running for that position, he didn't think that what part of that position would be enslaving me. And I'm, I was a slave of the state. I just wasn't privately owned. I was publicly owned. Mm -hmm. You know, and at the same time, I think that when we was uh, 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 fighting for uh, the opportunity to actually have a job and we was banned in the box, the people that were sitting there making the decisions whether we should do it or not didn't necessarily think that I was paying taxes and they were actually existing on dollars that they was extracting from me. So at a certain point, when do I actually step up and say that, you know, uh, enough is enough? And at a certain point, uh, when do I raise the issue of whether or not uh, uh, my conditions and, and me being incarcerated and me being enslaved didn't have an impact on, on, on my community? You know, because the reality of it is, is that right now, I'm in the process of running a couple of million dollar corporations, nonprofit corporations, you know, uh, and I'm feeding at least on in, in, in one uh, 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 legal services for prisons for children. I got 28 employees uh, in free at last. I probably got another 20 employees. So, like, you know, what was my accent? How did it serve the interests of our community since I'm running a multi million dollar uh, a law office and actually got. Um, uh, a, a treatment center. And by the way, uh, even though I went to prison for violence, I also won uh, the award for violence prevention by the California Wellness uh, Fellow. Uh, How for you? Uh, huh? I was in prison for 11 years. Okay. It took me when I was 19. Wow. When I got out, uh, one of the first things that I did was uh, walk around San Francisco looking for my son. Has nobody that came from me actually went to prison again? Uh, because I thought that it was significant to interrupt that process. There you go, breaking. You know, breaking with, with what was uh, traditionally there. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, Friday I go to, you know, uh, the high school graduation at uh, for one of uh, uh, my grandkids. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll probably give her some money and probably give her uh, uh, the first draft of my book. So, you know, so certain things that I think that, uh, that I have to offer, you know. And, you know, and by the way, if they got two million people locked up, it's impossible to lock up that number of people without locking up genius, brilliance, and probably somebody's salvation beside the people that you're actually uh, keeping us from. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the other part of the question, uh, when I told you I had found my son and I walked around looking for him, mm -hmm. I remember the question that he asked me when I first came home. He wanted a bedroom to himself and a Walkman radio. Mm -hmm. He was about 12 years old, going on 13 then. You know, I certainly would have been capable of providing that if I hadn't been in prison all that time. And if they had paid me for the labor that they extracted, then they definitely could have had at least a larger apartment while they were punishing me. Gotcha. Well, I appreciate, I appreciate <laughs> you sharing your, 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 your thoughts and what projects you guys that have going on. Um, you said you were at something uh, earlier. I was, at, um, I was at the public, the you know, I was on my way down here, and what I want to do is to make sure uh, that the people that I sent from my office who was wearing uh, this particular T-shirt, uh, how did it go over when they walked in mm -hmm. and actually identified themselves as former slaves? Because, like, I think that we invisible, and the we reason I'm wearing this T-shirt is say some of us is going to come out the shadows. You know, what do we do when we come out the shadows? Because certainly, you know, I knew that there were some people that was in the house that didn't necessarily appreciate the attitude of people that were in the field. Mm -hmm. What is it going to do for the rest of us? You know, and like I said, even those people in the house, I celebrate their freedom too. Okay.